Dr. Lara here. Hope you're doing well today. On my walk today in the blustery weather, I asked what was the highest message, the highest best message for people to hear. And it took me a long time to get to that, I guess, because I had a lot of other chatter in my mind. But what came through was expectations are planned resentments. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's a good one. I don't know if people are going to want to hear that one. Because <laughs> I know for me, for many, many years, um, I was really upset about the way people were. And it, I just thought to myself, well, if they do what I want them to do, or if they just act the way I think they should, then everything would be fine. And what happened was I was miserable, just completely miserable because what happened, I found myself going through life and getting upset at people. They don't even know me. I didn't know them, but they were doing stuff and I was like, oh, oh, oh. you know, I was like completely judging them for being who they were. And then I would take it home and then I would get really angry at all these people. And I'm like, what is up? And what I realized through my healing journey is that when I judge other people, it is a reflection of how I judge myself. So I was like, oh man, like I heard that many, many times, but when it finally like got into my psyche and I really understood it, that was a really tough thing to look at because I don't know about you, but for me, I am my own worst critic or I was. I was, I'm not anymore, but I was my own worst critic. And I would judge myself, oh, you should do this, you should weigh more, or you should weigh less, or you should be making more money, or you, you know, all of these shoulds and all these expectations that I put on myself. And, you know, maybe they were placed on me by society and my parents and, you know, family and friends, whatever. But you, you get to a point in your life where you realize that you can choose what you want to think about yourself. And you can choose to not put those kind of expectations on yourself. And it's all about self-awareness. So when I heard this phrase, expectations are planned resentments. When you expect people to behave a certain way or to be a certain way according to what is convenient in your life and they don't do it, you're going to automatically resent them for that. You know, and then taking it a step further, is it really fair to have expectations on other people? Because you don't like expectations put on you. I don't like expectations put on me. I don't like people controlling me. I don't like people telling me how I should and shouldn't act or live my life. You know, and I get it. I get it that there's a lot of people out there that are doing these horrible things that are mean and, you know, just like that too. But at a point, you have to ask yourself, how important is it that you put your energy on those people that aren't doing what you think they should be doing? And is that really contributing to where we want to go in humanity? Okay, so if these people are doing this stuff and it's unacceptable and you're getting mad at them and you're getting frustrated with them, and you're getting angry with them, and you're holding on to all of this energy, you know, is that really helping? Okay, and I'm not saying go ahead and love them for who they are. I'm not saying that at all, okay? Um, probably because I don't know if I'm there yet, so I can't really tell you to do that. But for you personally, wouldn't it be nice to not hold on to all of that angst? all of that energy and to let go of the expectations of how you think other people should be and you live your best life. You spread your light into the world. You give that smile. You go the extra mile and you do that for yourself and, and that's, that's for you, right? And eventually, hopefully, other people will see that. Other people will feel that. But if you stay in that vibration of being mad and judging other people, you stay down there. You stay in that space. And that doesn't help anybody. So anyway, I hope that helps. I know that was a tough um, message today. But um, you know what? We're all evolving. We're all growing. And it's the name of the game. So anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day.